right. Hey everybody, welcome to True Nature Hypnotherapy. My name is Chris Lemig. Um, I help people uh, using hypnosis to um, deal with past traumas, heal shame, that sort of that inner wounding that we experience in childhood that we bring into adulthood and it creates all kinds of problems for us. So we use hypnosis to connect you to your higher self, your true nature and your tremendous healing creative power within you to make the changes that are going to be best for you. They're going to free you from all that junk and all that garbage. So that's a long-winded way of telling you what I do. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I got uh, Andrea here today who's again volunteered to be a, a subject here to demonstrate hypnosis to you because one of the things that I found that um, you know when people come into my office looking for help with their issues is that they don't really understand what hypnosis is. They might have some ideas about it that are inaccurate, that are not quite true. So that's why I like to put these videos out there so you can see how natural hypnosis is, how easy it is, and what we can accomplish while using hypnosis. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a parts therapy session here. Um, we have talked a little bit here about the part of um, Andrea's personality that we want to work with, the part that's been, you know, just causing some trouble, causing some problems for you, right, up until now. Yes. And when we're talking about parts therapy, what we're basically talking about is, you know, that, that reference that we make to ourselves of, you know, hey, a part of me wants a salad for lunch, a part of me wants a piece of pizza, right? So we all have parts within ourselves that are all, um, you know, managing certain beliefs and behaviors and uh, strategies and emotional responses. Anytime that you have a distinct sort of part of yourself, it always has a motivation. It always has a reason for being. It's serving a function or it's serving a purpose. Now, some of you might be recognizing this description as something from, it's called uh, IFS, right? So internal family systems. And this is definitely very much related to that. However, in the context of what I do here with my experience uh, with Eastern philosophies as a Tibetan Buddhist monk in the past, um, and sort of that perspective, is that what we're recognizing from the very beginning is that no matter what the part is, it's perfectly pure, right? It is just simply an expression of your pure being, which in the Eastern philosophical traditions, we start out as being basically good, right? You are just simply an expression of the divine whole, right? The divine source of all things. So there's absolutely nothing within any of us, right? That isn't coming out of that, mm -hmm. out of that pure love, that pure creativity, that um, just exuberant life force, right? That is consciousness and awareness. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So, um, so we start from there. We know that in whatever the part is, no matter how self-destructive it may seem, no matter how many problems it seems to be causing, it's coming out of that place. And we make the assumption that what it really wants is some sort of experience, right, of its true self again. Mm -hmm. It's just become temporarily fragmented and lost, and it's desperately trying to get back to that source, right, the source of your being. And it's doing it in this really frustrated way because it forgets that you're already whole and complete right now. You don't need anything. You're actually perfectly just right the way you are. And when we are trying to get that, it's gonna be frustrating, right? It's sort of like walking around with your glasses on your head, like your sunglasses on your head. And you're going, where are my glasses? Where the fuck are my glasses, right? And you're running around, you're getting angry and huffy, and you're like, I gotta go, I gotta get out of here, I need my sunglasses. And then you reach up and you're like, oh, it, they've been here all along. That's what, that's what this is all about, right? So when we're trying to find what we already have, it's gonna cause problems, it's gonna be frustrating, right? So what we're gonna do today, we've talked a little bit about the part that we want to address and, and you want to just kind Yeah, of... so this is our this is our third session together mm -hmm. and I was reflecting that they've been spaced out by like a little bit of time mm -hmm. and um, the things that I came in for have like fallen, you know, have dissolved. They're not problems anymore. So now I'm like, okay, well what's my new problem? <laughs> <I need to laughs> right. Find, right. Um, which is such a lovely task. So today yeah. Uh, the part that I'm interested in exploring through this is around like 
desire and the part that like blocks me from believing that I am able to have to want to right. to need to ask right. right to receive wonderful wonderful Just want things yeah and I think we talked before that it's like stemming from this source of unworthiness mm -hmm. right so yeah right. this like it's this part that's like thinks the worth is conditional right. or something exactly yeah. so you feel like you have to be worthy enough or deserving yeah. enough to even want something yes. right yeah okay so we're going to address that part and um you know what we want to do as we do this kind of work we do want to get a little bit clear a little bit of clarity on what is the part right so mm -hmm. you know we're going to call it this thing that's blocking you from wanting right um we'll just call it that yeah. and you'll know what that means yeah right but we want to just get that clarity so we know exactly what part we're talking to when we ask it to kind of come up out of the subconscious mm -hmm. and we're going to actually it's pretty cool because we're going to ask that part to it will actually appear for you uh, in some way mm -hmm. and maybe it'll appear as a little you know elf or you know mm -hmm. whatever a waterfall yeah. or uh, whatever right yeah. so uh let your subconscious mind play and just whatever comes up and then you'll have a converse opportunity to have a conversation with it okay all right and we'll find out what it's really trying to do for you all right wonderful okay so here's what we're going to do again welcome to true nature hypnotherapy uh, i'm chris lamig and we're going to do this parts therapy hypnosis session here and uh, let's get right to it so what i'd like you to do is to just simply set the intention now set the intention that everything that we do in this session today it's for your highest benefit and for your highest good and as we keep that as our direction as our compass point as our beacon you know that you can just be trusting that we're going to go in just the right direction for you to meet your true needs and to create the changes that are best for you today and just open your eyes for a moment and we're going to go ahead and do some hypnosis and we'll take you into hypnosis and Andrea's a great hypnosis subject so she knows how to do it already but just for the purposes of this video we'll show you a basic induction here and uh, and then you know then we'll continue okay. so go ahead and just kind of pick a spot on my hand looking at my hand focusing on that spot as i lift my hand let your eyes follow it just your eyes oh, that's, that's right <laughs> <laughs> what did i just say <laughs> okay all right so we'll start over no problem so looking at that focus focus point picking a point as i lift my hand let your eyes just follow it yeah that's right keeping your head level now in a moment i'm going to let that hand drop when it does you let your eyes close down that's right, allow your eyes to close down and simply begin to relax your eyes. Simply begin to notice your hypnosis moving all around your eyes. Allow your hypnosis to make it easy for you to relax your eyes, to let go of all the tension and all of the stress. Making it easy for you to relax your eyes to the point where they just won't work. And now once you're satisfied that your eyes just won't work, just go ahead and send that hypnosis up over the top of your head and just spilling down your whole body all the way down to the tips of your toes. Simply imagine it happening now. That's right, each breath that you take, deeper and deeper down. Each breath that you take, twice as deep now. That's right. Four times as deep now. That's right. Simply allow it to happen now. That's right. Very good. Very good. Now, Andrea, in a moment, not just yet, but in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. And this time you'll be able to open your eyes. And then I'll have you close your eyes again. And each time that you do this, each time you open and close your eyes, just imagine and experience yourself going 10 times deeper, 10 times deeper into hypnosis. That's right. Go ahead and open your eyes and close your eyes 10 times deeper now. That's right, very good. Very good. Once again, open your eyes and close your eyes 10 times deeper now. That's right. Very good. And one last time, open your eyes and close your eyes 10 times deeper again now. That's right, very good. As I lift your arm, just let me do all the work. Let me do all the work, that's right, all the way down. The other arm lifting gently, let me do all the work. All the way down, all the way down. That's right. Enjoying this experience more and more. As you 
imagine yourself now in a powerful place, in a magical, mystical place where you have everything you need to create these powerful, positive changes for yourself. That's right, only imagine it happening now in your powerful place, your magical place, your mystical place, where you have all the resources that you need to generate these positive, healthy changes for yourself. That's right. And if you like, if you find it helpful and useful, you can call upon your higher self to be part of this process, to guide you through this process. You can imagine now a stream of white golden light streaming down into the top of your head, down into your heart, just filling your heart and expanding into every cell of your body now. That's right. That's right. Deeper down as your higher self is surrounding you now. That's right. Giving you everything you need in terms of guidance and support and love, acceptance. That's right. Very good. And what are you experiencing now? Let me know how well you're doing. I'm feeling like a grounding feeling, a feeling of warmth. That's right. Mm, yeah, it's like the light is like liquid metal or something. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. You just simply imagine it. Imagine it radiating out all around you throughout every cell of your body, just creating a sphere of protective magnetic energy of love and acceptance all around you, just so supported and grounded. You can imagine that light, that love and that healing energy being sent everywhere that it's needed now already. It's already doing its work. That's right. And every so often I'm going to speak to the camera as I do. You just continue to enjoy this experience. Continue to enjoy this experience more and more as I just simply explain a couple of things about what we're doing here. That's right. So the first step is just really to just create the conditions for hypnosis, which is really just a turning inward, a focus inward into a state of openness and receptivity. You begin to listen to your subconscious mind, to begin to listen to your own true being, your own innate wisdom and your own intelligence. So then from there, it's just really about letting the process unfold, giving a few directions, a few suggestions. You can even give fewer suggestions than I've given here and just simply direct uh, the person to just start to make the changes. You don't have to tell them you know, how to make the changes or what changes to make. You can just say, just know that you can start making those changes now and their subconscious mind will start that process naturally all on its own. But for this session today, we're gonna do something a little more uh, specific. So again, we're gonna do a parts therapy where we're gonna call up a specific part that's been managing this behavior of sort of denying uh, Andrea's um, you know, basic right to want things, uh, associating wanting things with a you know, kind of a sense of worthiness, like she has to be worth something before she can actually allow herself to want something. So that being said, go ahead and just begin to invite that part of yourself, Andrea. Invite that part of yourself uh, that has been up until now preventing you or you know, keeping you from wanting things just the way that you want. That's right. That's right. And imagine it just appearing in front of you, maybe an arm's length out in front. And you may be imagining what it looks like now. You might have some sense of what it is. I'm going to count to three, from one to three. And when I do, you'll see it appear. It might be in the way that you're seeing it now. It might be different. Either way is fine. Number one, getting ready to appear. Number two, this part is coming to speak to you, to 
communicate. Number three, there it is. Just go with your first impression. What are you experiencing now? How is this part appearing for you? Um, this part appeared um, just as, a, as me, but a version of me, and it was just so scared. Mm -hmm. It was just like towering down, like so fearful. That's right. thank this part for appearing in this way because the very fact that this part is appearing in this way means that this part is willing to communicate it wants to communicate it wants to share exactly what it's been trying to do for you so go ahead and just get a sense of the energy of that part just observe it Notice how it perceives you and how it regards you. You can even walk around her and just, just observe her from every angle with a sense of curiosity, but also respect. Respect and honoring her being. And when you come back around, just again facing this part and again, with a sense of gratitude, a sense of respect, a sense of authentic, an authentic wish to communicate, and simply ask this part, what is it that you're trying to accomplish for me by acting and manifesting the way that you do? Okay. That's right. And just, again, you're just going to go with your first impression here. Even if it seems strange, or maybe a, you know, your conscious mind might say, no, that's not it, it's got to be something else. Just go with your first impression. When you ask it, what is your function? What are you trying to accomplish for me? What does it answer? Protect. Protect, that's right. That's right, very good. Very good. And thank it for that. Because isn't it good to know that you have a part of yourself that wants to protect you? And this part of yourself has been trying its best to protect you in the only way that it's known how. And thank it for wanting to protect you. And as a sort of, as a thank you gift, give it permission now, both of you now, to experience what it would be like if you had protection just the way that this part wants. Imagine what it would be like if you had protection, perfectly and completely, just the way this part intends for you. Really experience it, feel it. Imagine what it would be like if you woke up every morning, and as soon as you opened your eyes, you felt protected. That's right, allow yourself to move through a typical day that feeling of protection just growing stronger and stronger, more and more stable. Simply imagine it, only imagine it happening now. That's right. What are you experiencing now? So what's coming up is, you know, I mentioned the, like the metal with the metal. Mm -hmm. And like originally, before we introduced this part, that I had a moment right after that of like, oh, that's so funny because we're talking about worth, and here I am being filled with like liquid precious metal. And now, with the protection visualization, it's like taken on this, like, you know, not like an armor, but like, like, you know, like I can't. Mm, it's protection from being hurt in whatever way. That's right. That's it's right. this like, shield that's not limiting it's not like limiting my movement or my right. expression it's just that's like right. it is me and it's it's already there as if I like I were just moving around liquid gold that's right that's right <laughs> solid gold liquid that's gold. right and it feels good doesn't it mm -hmm. my part I feel like she I feel like it's easier for me to feel that protection than for her to feel that, but she's like holding my hand. That's right. That's right. 
and just let her observe and let her just imagine what uh, it's like to have that protection perfectly and completely just the way you want. Noticing how it uh, changes the whole context and texture and flavor of your life. How it influences your interactions with your loved ones. How having protection just the way you want changes how you move through the world. And allow your subconscious mind now to really become familiar, really familiar with this feeling of protection so that every cell of your body is learning everything there is to know about feeling protected just the way you want. And imagine having this protection all the way into your future. Just the way you want. That's right. And now that you have protection, just the way you want, perfectly and completely, what's deeper or more important that comes out of that? You can ask this part. Now that you have this for me, now that you've accomplished protection, what's deeper or more important that you want for me? deeper or more important than protection that comes out of having protection in the very beginning. I'm like taken through this, like I feel like you know, a childhood version of me wanting something say like for Christmas, as mm -hmm. <laughs> an example. Mm -hmm. I really wanted like a stereo, but mm -hmm. I but I asked for a boom box. I don't I just don't didn't know that stereo was called something different from a boom box. So I, I did receive a boom box, but it was like not what I wanted, right? It was like different. And That's right. um That's right. and I felt like ashamed and I felt like misunderstood. I felt That's alone. Right. I felt like greedy. And so, but under all of that of like Okay, we're trying to protect you from those feelings, right? Because when right. you want something, it's misunderstood. But I think deeper than that is this, like, I don't know, the, the word that came up for just, I'm real. You're real. I'm real. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm just going to lift your hand again and let you do all the work. That's right. That's right. Allow yourself to go all the way down deeper and deeper, feeling real. Being real. You're real. Thank this part, thank this part for wanting this for you, wanting you to feel real, to be real. And really allow yourself now, allow yourself in this part to be real, just the way that you want. Really explore it, experience it, fully and completely, just the way you want, that's right. That's right, more and more, perfectly and completely, being real. That's right. That's right, very good, very good. Simply imagine being real now, just the way you want it, so that each morning you wake up, as soon as you open your eyes, you automatically, from the very beginning of your day, know that you're real. And allow your subconscious mind to carry that feeling more and more all the way through a typical day, being real. Experience it happening now. That's right. Being real. That's right. What are you experiencing now? Grounding and opening. That's right. That's right. 
drop, like opening my chest, dropping my shoulders. That's right. That's right. It feels like it's just kind of like reaching down with my, but yeah, just from top to bottom. That's right. And as you experience this, feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's right. As you experience what it's like to be real, just the way this part is wanted for you all along. And again, thanking this part for wanting this for you, this wonderful experience of being real. Go ahead and ask it, what is deeper and more important that you want? What's deeper and more important that arises out of being real? You're enough, that's right. And simply imagine now being enough. That's the word, the phrase that came up for you because you have a lived experience. You know exactly what that means. Allow your subconscious mind to fill in all the details of being enough so that you are enough now. Experience what that would be like to wake up every day being enough. Being enough now, that's right. Notice as you move through a typical day how being enough informs all of your interactions, all of your choices, all your decisions, all the thoughts in your head, all the words that you speak, the actions that you take. Notice how it changes the texture of your life. That's right. Simply imagine it. Simply imagine it happening now. Being enough. That's right. That's right, very good. That's right. And what are you experiencing now? I feel this, like I was just kind of walking around my house and then I felt this like, like, it's like all, yeah, like alignment and then this connection like light and connected that's right. above and below that's right oh, that and protected and real and enough are like yeah that's right that's right imagine being connected above and below really feel that feel it and experience it because you are connected above and below Being enough, being connected, above and below. Thank this part of, for wanting this for you. That's all it's wanted. That's all it's wanted. And what's deeper and more important that comes out of this? It sounds like you're already kind of moving ahead in the process, <laughs> which is wonderful. So, but for purposes of just kind of demonstrating, just, uh, you know, we're going to go through a couple more steps before you get to that hug again, to get to that wonderful coming together and integration. And just simply ask this part of yourself, so has preventing me from wanting ever gotten us this sense of wholeness, being connected from above and below? No, that's right. Are you willing then to abandon and let go of those old patterns, those old behaviors, those obsolete beliefs and all the, you know, the strategies associated with preventing me from getting what I want? Are you willing to let those go now? That's right. Is 
there any doubt or hesitation? Does she have any doubt or hesitation about being willing to let go of all those old obsolete behaviors, strategies, and beliefs? That's right. And now simply ask her now, are you willing now to, now from now on, this moment forward, just collaborate? We're going to work together now. Is she willing to do that? That's right. And now go ahead and hug again if you like. Or you can imagine her great gratitude. Both of you just stepping into a column of light, this column of pure white light that takes you up to the highest realm of your highest, purest being. As you hold her or touch her hands or however you're connected, just rising up into this light. And as you do, as you rise up into this column of light, just evolving, purifying, expanding, becoming closer, more integrated, and when you get to the top of that column of light, to the highest, purest realm of your highest being, step out of that light and then witness her coming out. And notice how she's changed. Notice how she's transformed. And how is she different? She's standing up. She's so vibrant. That's right. Colorful. That's right. She's standing up, vibrant and colorful. That's right. Very good. You can let her know how proud you are of her, how happy you are, that she's free. <laughs> what are you experiencing? We're dancing. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Celebrating. Wonderful. Great. And take your time, enjoy that experience when you're when the process is complete, that dancing, knowing that you can dance with her now forever. Forever, anytime. You can imagine her just dissolving into light, melting into your heart, reintegrating with your pure energy, pure love, creativity, pure being. That's right. Very good. And now just simply imagine, Andrea, and imagine now, like everything that you've learned in this experience, all of the feelings, all of the learnings, all of the skills, all of the implications of this experience to just melt right into your heart, like snowflakes just falling into water. So they're just integrating into your being, into your deepest subconscious mind. That's right. Imagine it happening now. And imagine that you can send and deliver these learnings now to every situation in your past where you, you ever in the past denied yourself wanting something, denied yourself a desire. Send these learnings back to each and every situation so each and every past version of yourself has these exact same learnings now and can now act and react in a different way. Your subconscious mind can do it all at once. You might imagine one or two specific incidents or memories. Know that your subconscious mind is doing it all now. That's right. Just like that. Changing your relationship forever to your past so that you're no longer limited in unnecessary or harmful ways. That's right. In the same way now, imagine sending these learnings into your future, all the way into your future now, so that from the moment you get up from this couch, each step that you take, you're carrying these learnings with you. And these learnings are now going to generate even more learnings as you experience more, as you carry these learnings into all anticipated and even unimagined future situations. Imagine yourself simply wanting what you want, expressing those wants and those desires. Because this part of yourself is now collaborating with you. Supporting you. Feeling more and more whole, more and more complete. More and more real. More and more 
are protected all the way into your future now. That's right. Very good. That's right. Very good. Now simply imagine this whole experience, the past, the present, the future, all of it just dissolving into light. And just rest there for a moment in that wonderful purity of that brilliant light. That's right, very good. And now, in a moment, not just yet, but in a moment, I'm gonna count from one to five. When I reach the number five, you can open your eyes, coming back to normal waking consciousness. When you do, two things will have happened. Number one, all these learnings will flawlessly integrate into your being. You're gonna be acting upon these suggestions from this moment forward. In the future, you'll notice interesting, surprising, even delightful changes within and without. And also when you open your eyes, you'll just simply feel refreshed and relaxed and just wonderful in every way. As number one, starting to come back, Number two, that's right, easily coming back to normal waking consciousness, fully integrating all these learnings. Number three, wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. That's right, that's right, very good. Number four, take a nice deep breath of wakeful energy. Ah, clearing your head. As number five, open your eyes all the way back, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful in every way. And you do feel wonderful, don't you? Yeah, I'm <laughs> floating. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Amazing. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Cool. I feel like the, um, I can sense this is like a third session and I can sense like my analytical thinking mind just like retreating more and more. Right, right. In the beginning, I remember being like, oh, no, no, no. like, what is the mystical, magical place? And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is this thing trying to say? And now I'm able to, like, that part's just, it's, Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Taking a step to the side a exactly. lot easier. Yeah. 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 That's an important point. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of people think that hypnosis is sort of a magic bullet, a magic cure, and we just do one session and all your problems are solved, right? Mm -hmm. Well, like anything, that's not the case, right? Mm -hmm. And if anyone's selling you that, you should run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, uh, as you can see, we've done just three sessions together, and this is pretty typical, where in the third session, we really start to get there, right? You're comfortable with the process and you know, you're just familiar with that, you know, getting in touch with that part of yourself, the subconscious and the higher self. Mm -hmm. It's just easier, right? And yes, like you say, your your critical mind, your analytical mind is just starting to say, Oh, you know what? This is actually pretty cool. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a break. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so very cool. Very cool. What else was that experience like? For um, you? well, so each time we've had like a different I've had a different it's sort of like combination visual and sensory thing that's like stuck with me, right? So yeah, like this for me was like both the, the liquid metal being like worthy and protected and then this feeling of connectedness mm -hmm. and light all the way through. Right. Um, yeah, and then the other thing that's coming up is just similar to the last observation it's like we I didn't necessarily come in work wanting to work on like self-trust mm -hmm. but yeah like because my, my original things were probably confidence and imposter oh. syndrome mm -hmm. second one was authenticity this yeah. time we're talking about worth and, and mm -hmm. wanting right. right and yet yeah like this sense of trust in myself my higher self right safety yeah like things that are, I know are related, but yeah. not directly the goal are also feeling more potent or present. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the aim, that's that's the 100% the aim to just demonstrate and show you how to access that, right? And become more and more familiar with that, to know who you truly are. Mm -hmm. Because then moving forward, you know, my, my sincere wish for, for people that I work with is that, you know, we work through a series of sessions and then I never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, you know, yeah, I, I would love to see you again, yeah. but, but you know, 
it's really about empowering you, mm -hmm. right? It's really about skill connecting building. you. Yeah, yeah, building that skill of just touching in with yourself, knowing that you're okay, that you have everything you need, mm -hmm. and you're gonna figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. Not only just figure it out, but really you can just, you can solve any problem, yeah. right? And because there actually are no problems mm -hmm. other than the ones we create. Mm -hmm. So, wonderful. Yes. So powerful. Wonderful. Thank you. So one of the things that you might have noticed there is that we were communicating, right, mm -hmm. a lot, right? And that's another thing that people have this sort of this mythological idea about, about hypnosis, that you're just uh, in this zombie-like state and you're in responsive and I'm just, you know, programming your subconscious mind. It's really, I mean, there's an element of that that can happen sometimes, but a lot of sessions are very interactive, right? So you're able to really uh, communicate and the more you communicate, actually, the more real the experience becomes, mm. the more vivid the visualizations become, the more you know, intense uh, and real the feelings become, right? The felt somatic experience mm -hmm. becomes. So that's something that's key to understand that just because you were communicating, a lot of people say like, well, I could understand you and I could talk and I could you know, interact and so I wasn't in hypnosis. No, absolutely not. You were deep in hypnosis, mm. very, very deep in hypnosis. Uh, just watching your eye movements and watching your reactions and the things that you're, you know, sharing, mm -hmm. you know, very clearly, mm -hmm. having a very profound experience. So, and um, and again, you might have noticed too that you know I wasn't really feeding anything too direct. You know, I was really just checking in. What are you experiencing right now? What's that like? How does that feel? That feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> A very open-ended kind of just you know getting that agreement sometimes once in a while but really letting you shape the experience and guide it so wonderful great anything else you want to share about the experience no i think like that last comment feels mm, you know like we we operate in our day-to-day -day lives in this fragmented state mm -hmm. from a different like operating system maybe. Right. So this feels like that's not the only operating system. And right. there's this underlying right. one that's probably more foundational and more easeful and more useful mm -hmm. that this feels like, yeah, even, and you're still able to communicate and operate right. when you're on that other like radio station right. channel. Right, right, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Wonderful. There we go. Wonderful. Great. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for participating in this. I know it's going to help a lot of people. The last video we did, um, you know, a lot of people commented and liked it and, um, you know, I think got a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, my name is Chris Lemming at True Nature Hypnotherapy, and I help people uh, using hypnosis connect to your higher self so you can really heal those past wounds, those traumas, those, uh, you know, limiting beliefs and, and just the obsolete patterns that are no longer serving you and helping you. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're interested in learning more about what I do, go down in the description. I've got my link tree uh, link there and you can either schedule a time with me uh, to schedule a free like initial consultation or there's a number of other options there too. Um, so again, like and subscribe to my channel here. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. Chris Lamig at True Nature Hypnotherapy. Hope you're well and take care.